Several ceremonies took place today across central Arkansas as the nation observes Veterans Day. THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us how both the big events and the smaller ones have the same message no matter the age group. Dozens came together Friday morning at the state veterans home in North Little Rock to honor those who served our country. But we're more like a family than anything else. Patrick Johnson served in the Army National Guard for 23 years. Each year he goes to Veterans Day ceremonies and not just because he's a veteran. This hat right here, this is my dad's hat. He comes to me to every ceremony. I lost dad on my last one about two weeks before I was coming home. But I had told him I'll be home about a couple of weeks, so he knew I was coming home safe. Although his dad isn't standing here with Johnson, he still carries him close by. Every time I come to the ceremony, I have his hat with me. And his dad is part of the reason why he decided to join the Army. I, I always wanted to be a soldier. I grew up watching every war movie in the world. I went to ROTC and I, I wanted to be a soldier. And Veterans Day is something even the younger generation celebrates. Immaculate Conception Catholic School in North Little Rock held its own assembly to honor them. It just is a time to really remember the people that did serve, maybe even died, to uh, just remember them and to keep them in our hearts and our prayers. Student body president Jasper Strode's great grandfather fought in World War II, so he thinks of him when this holiday rolls around each year. They're the people that's keeping this land free. And it's something we shouldn't take for granted. We appreciate thank yous. We don't ask for anything, but a good thank you every now and again, you would, know, you would have no idea what that does to a veteran. In North Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Veterans Day is officially on your calendars for tomorrow, but the federal holiday is being observed today.